Hey guys, what's going on? Um, back with another canon release here. So, uh, no, I haven't uploaded in a while. It is what it is. Um, I was gonna release this like a month ago, but that didn't end up happening. So, releasing it now. Uh, it's my quick print using a new kind of comp, sorta. Uh, Soul Sand. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, it's pretty cool, and it's really good for uh, quick prints because it's really easy to print in. Um, I'm on Zone MC right now. It's a new server coming out this uh, Saturday, actually, 3 p.m. EST. If y'all want to hop on, I'll be playing. Uh, I'll go. I'll put the trailer at the end of this video so y'all can uh, look at that. So. Okay. I'm just gonna make a real quick video here. You know, don't have that long. Just got some basic wall set up. It's one of those triple pulse things. So just know that it eats through TNT like crazy. Uh, it does nuke down, not all the way, this is to what, like Y120 or something. Uh, so it is a decent nuke, but just because of the size of, or I didn't really have enough room, so this is the nuke right here. It's pretty small, but I mean that's, that's enough to uh, adjust and all that stuff, uh, so that's fine. I mean, y'all can like, it, it's pretty weird how I separate the TNT and all that stuff. This thing double pulses, then it shoots across, then this piston like extends, uh, making the hammer fall like in here. It's weird. Uh, so y'all can download the cannon and mess around with that. Um, the main thing I want to show off is the uh, Soul Sand comp. This is the main difference that makes it different than most other uh, quick prints out there. Because it is extremely quick to print in. Like, literally, you can just go through this, turn on printer, walk through this once, and it's just completely done. Uh, it works by, instead of shifting horizontally, it's, uh, it's going up and down. Because, you know, you normal uh, carpet comps, the thing just shifts side to side. Uh, so this is just... You basically will take a... Uh, three redstone tick impulse into a thing with soul sand on top of it and then that's all you do and then it's like in the sand uh, no one really has done this before uh, people have done slabs but I was messing around with this uh, this is pretty old this is like several years it does work but once you added more sand sometimes and on some servers it's really buggy and like sometimes it worked on one shot sometimes it didn't uh, but I found Soul Santa work pretty much all the time except on certain servers which have patches for it um, but that's only like cosmic and none of them normal like Archon they, this works perfectly fine um, it's because Soul Sand it's not a full block like if you're in it you see kind of hop up which kind of helps the sand stay in its state. It also works with trapdoors. The only two I found was uh, trapdoors and soul sand. But the issue with uh, trapdoors is they have to have a full block to be placed on, which doesn't make them very useful. Um, another thing I had to do is the only way to power two wide things that I could find was to have to wire it like this like you got your two dispensers and they're on two different levels and then like that because you, uh, you could do like a floor like really old ones and then just wire it like this but then you have nowhere to put infinite boosters and I wanted to be able to put infinite boosters on this one so it's kind of a weird design but it works uh, you know, normal infinite boosters, shoots across, all that good stuff. But this last one, it, it's uh, it's down more. That's just to give it more uh, v vertical velocity so it doesn't clip on anything and just shoots right here. One thing special about this thing is all the repeaters, they're on either one tick or four tick. Which means when you're printing the whole thing in, uh, when the repeater's like, you know, 
it'll be orange on that it'll be orange on this and it'll be orange on that you don't you can't tell what tickets supposed to be at uh, so this one if it's orange you will always put it on four ticks which makes it really easy to print in and you don't have to memorize anything it's just there uh, to water this real simple just grab a stack of water buckets oops whatever It's not like a one water bucket cannon. Those, honestly, it's quicker to just grab a stack of water buckets and uh, water this thing than to print all that scaffolding in and then place one water bucket. Uh, you just grab a stack, start right here, just spam it right there, place one there, place one there, 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 and there, and then you're done. So it's real simple. It's well, like one, two, three, four, five six water buckets total maybe something like that um, you can water more if you want doesn't matter um, but this thing does work on three seconds I don't have any walls right there right now uh, I'll show you in the low corner but it working um, so that's pretty much it I think it's got slab bust uh, decent nuke uh, these things pulse three times again two for the power one for the hammer it shoots whatever 30 TNT will get you, or 300, I think it's like 116 chunks, something like that. Oh, this will be fixed in the skin by the way. So, printing this thing takes two minutes, I test it on a few different creative printer servers, so it's the fastest one I've seen out there. It's pretty compact too, it's only 15 by uh, 25 so it, it, it really doesn't take that long to make. Um, I haven't tested on like non-creative printer servers and stuff, but it'll probably be like 230 or something. Okay so that's probably going to be it for this uh, video here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the trailer for Zone MC releasing Saturday 3pm EST. It's going to be a fun season. I think this is actually a new server, or it's like an old one brought back, but it's by Aoko, he's a great owner, it's run a quite a few different servers, so yeah, this should be fun, so uh, enjoy the trailer guys.